Coach. All right, we ready? Yeah. Are we? Yep. All right. It's always fun. First day of two days, but we had a good practice this morning. We'll come back in this afternoon. But uh, you know, the big thing about a practice like this is you got to get as much done. You got to take your mind off knowing that they got a lot of film to watch and then come back. But uh, we're doing a lot of running, a lot of running in the ball. And my main concern in two days is always can you get enough running done before you get into the last week and a half of camp before you get to the first game where everybody's in good enough shape. There's a fine line, the head coach making the decision of how much you run guys, how many periods you go, and it's really a roll of the dice to try to keep everybody out here fresh enough where you can teach them something and, and uh, make sure that, they, uh, that they're getting better as a player. So that's what we're trying to do right now is balance you know, our practice time and our running, and how many drills we do. But uh, these guys are th these guys are persistent. They've worked hard. I mean, they're working hard. The younger guys have surprised me more than the older guys. Younger guys usually by now kind of hit the wall, spit the bit out, kind of leaning back in their chair wondering when is this crap going to be over with. But, uh, but they're holding in there pretty good. Proud of them. Questions from the audience? Anybody? Dan Horde. Glare's killing like me, brother. Off Glare, my head? Glare's have, killing uh, me. We gotta get, hat back we gotta get you I've got under, sunglasses on. We gotta get you an Under Armour hat. We're down the road. Uh, I might do something on uh, Lyndon. Lyndon Johnson. Johnson. One of the few players I know named Lyndon Johnson. I know what? <laughs> LBJ. We call him LBJ. Yeah. Because it's Lyndon Bain Johnson. So uh, I guess uh, we, you know, it's the exact name. So there had to be some some kind of carry over there, but. Uh, he kind of likes it. You know, Lyndon's one of the kids, he's a junior college guy. Yeah. That's really never, you know, been put through this much in this short period of time because we're counting on him to play. He's a big guy, he's tall, he's a sore back. He, we're asking him to do a lot of things. And when you do it for the first time and you do it a lot of times, then you uh, do get a little bit sore. He's got long arms, he's got long legs. Uh, we're stretching him, we're making him do all kind of things to keep him healthy and then having a lot of contact when you're playing inside a tackle. So, that being said, he's going to play for us. he got a lot to learn, but he's a huge guy that's inside that's going to be hard to move. And uh, that being his name, LBJ, it's easy for me to remember because a lot of these JUCO guys, you kind of forget their name some, but he's a guy that, uh, that we're excited about being here. What, what attracted you to him? Is it the, the big wingspan? The, what, yeah. For people that haven't seen him. You know, he played in Mississippi Junior College, and I recruited a lot down there. Actually, Jeff Koontz is, uh, played for Jeff Koontz's dad. And we knew a lot about him. Uh, we knew we'd look for certain type of guys to play inside for us on defense. He's not your typical guy because he's tall. We usually don't take tall guys like that. But with all these spread offenses, you know, his wingspan is going to be great, for, you know, knocking passes down, getting in the passing lane, uh, being able to play over smaller guards. And so it's kind of an experiment for us to take a taller guy and put in a defensive tackle that that might help us over some of these shorter 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 guys we've got. We had uh, Avery Peterson who joined the team, yeah. transfer from LSU here. He's here today and uh, practicing. And, you know, he's a tall, lean receiver that we're excited about. He's got a lot to learn, but uh, looking forward to him and our transfer from Virginia, you know, being part of our football team. And they obviously got to set out this year, but with six seniors moving on down the road at receiver, that's the reason we went after as many JUCOs or transfers because we've got to have help there next year. And these two guys are going to be good additions, real good additions to our football team.